All right, guys, this is my crate setup and my do-it-yourself rack that I made for my Predator MX, my old Tom Predator MX. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do here is deconstruct this and put it all back together and show you how I made it. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the egg crate first. Okay, so the first thing that I did to the egg crate was I added a front um, paddle holder, okay? And on the back of that, I added another paddle holder with some spacers, okay? And that's gonna accept my back rack, okay? And in the middle, I have um, three quarter inch PVC that I bolted to the egg crate, as you can see inside. Okay, and basically my front um, handle right there is gonna clip onto the bar. So we just wanna center that and just push that down. And this PVC um, that I mounted back here fits exactly, so I'll slide it over a little bit and it should fit exactly right into the slot in between. Okay, I measured measured it for the exact length and I actually snapped the front end. I laid it down on top of the pipe before I sprayed it with the uh, rubberized paint, of course. Then I drilled my holes and I bolted that on, okay? Then, of course, I made my two rod holders uh, that I actually have um, secured with the uh, zip ties like that. I drilled a hole and you can see where I attached it. And I used a Dremel to uh, take out the centers for the rails, okay? So that's on there fairly secure. And all I did was I stuck a bungee through here and I'm gonna put one end on an existing clip on this side, okay? So I just hooked that one on there like that. Then it goes through the handle and down to the other side, okay? And that's gonna hold that securely forward, okay, like so. It's pushing that forward and down, so that's on there secure, okay? And obviously, I screwed some uh, eye hooks to the top for additional places to bungee, okay? Which I'll show you in a minute. And this uh, two inch PVC mast that I use for my umbrella setup and my um, light setup. Actually, what, what I do is I store my umbrella right under the seat, okay? That's a $5 Home Depot umbrella and it's Propel light, safety light that I mounted to the top. Okay, and I just um, spun some duct tape around there. This is inch and a half PVC. Slides inside the two inch, like that. It's kind of loose, so I just put the duct tape to make it really tight so it fits really securely. And then down below, this screw that goes through that pipe, that's the stop for the uh, for my mast. So basically when I go out, if I know it's gonna rain or whatever, or I'm gonna be out the dock, I'll just put this in before I even stop paddling. If I'm not gonna use it, I'll just leave it under the seat. Okay, so that's that set up. And then what I have here is a back rack that I made. Obviously, this is kind of an oddball setup situation in the back of the uh, the Predator MX, in actually most of the uh, Old Town kayaks, it's kind of a rounded. You really can't fit a square cooler, so I figured, you know, let me make some kind of a setup or a rack like so, and this is what I came up with. Basically, it's all PVC. Um, I'll show you some pictures at the end of the video before I, you know, sprayed this and so forth. And I got some marine plywood, I think that's, um, a half inch, I think, possibly marine, and I, on the, I screwed them to fit on the top. Put screws through them, and then I used hot glue on the back side. You can see the hot glue on either side to keep them from uh, tilting back and forth, so that they wouldn't loosen up. Okay. Then obviously, the other mount right there, I just slid that in, snapped that into place, and you get yourself a nice back rack that is, uh, can be held down from these bungee cords like that. That'll hold it down in position. And you can put other coolers back there. 
such as the, uh, let me see, the Arctic Zone. This is a nice, these are nice coolers. Okay, so you can either put that on the back. This can be filled with ice and or um, fishing gear. And I have another Arctic cooler that actually fits exactly right inside my crate. So I usually keep this in there all the time. It fits perfectly right in there. Okay, and inside of that, I use this as kind of a dry dock to put my um, GoPro, soft plastics, rain gear. You can also use that for a cooler if you want. Both of these can be used for dry storage or a cooler, and they just they fit perfectly. This one does, and the larger size fits perfectly on the back. Okay, that's an Arctic zone, okay? So that's pretty cool. And another feature of my wrap that I made, obviously I did this so you could put, you know, oddball size stuff on the back, a cooler, a tent. Uh, you can unhook this and you can fold that up and then hook, hook it by this additional strap that I made there. In the up position, you could put like a large duffer bag here and then strap it to this for extra support. But I generally just leave it in the down position unless I'm going camping. And I'll leave it locked in with this, this one here. Okay. And like I said, uh, it's nice if you have a tent. Like I have a six-man tent here, okay. A six, my six-man tent will fit exactly on the back of that rack, nice and flat. And it leaves you the underneath for storage. You can use uh, storage bags, dry bags for for whatever, you know, for clothes or whatever. And there's still enough room for this other cooler if you're going on a camping trip to put nice and flat and you can secure them nice. That's, that's what's nice about that do-it-yourself rack there. So obviously, uh, the, the boat comes with, the kayak comes with two existing rod holders. And then the, with the two additional that I made with the slots, uh, we'll let you hold four four rods, which is good enough for me. I don't want to overcomplicate this, you know what I'm saying? So, so let's it's pretty handy there. And then also in the back here gives you extra space for additional tackle or whatever you want. Space for my two boxes, one with hooks, one with spinners, and uh, other terminal tackle. And of course, you get your men's room here. So it's good to have one of those on board. And that completes that setup, basically. Uh, on the side, I have all my hooks, uh, extra bungees. Also, uh, yeah, like I said, this is pretty functional. I'll show you how this goes up here. Let me pull this out. So this is my uh, umbrella that I have. Basically, this is the mast for my light, safety light, which fits behind the seat rather nicely. There's still some space, your, your head is over here. So when I set the umbrella here on this, it's pretty much right over my umbrella is up. And I have two slots here where I put a, uh, a bolt through to, I can raise and lower the uh, height of the mast for the uh, umbrella. Slide this down to the, uh, the bolt that you want. My bolt's on the counter over there, but it's gonna stay there. So I don't need it at this particular moment. So that's gonna set that up like that. Fairly nicely. Okay, and it covers your head. It covers your head. Your, your head will be like almost on center up in here. And you could lower this to the next another eight inches. So that it just goes like right over your head if you wanted to. That's a pretty good setup. Then I have my light here in case it starts to get dark. There's a propel light that had a suction mount that I just mounted to the top of the pole. And you can either have it light, bright, or you can have the safety flash. So that's a pretty good setup too. Like I said, if you don't want this up, you can just store it in the mast or you can throw it right under the seat and you'll be fine too. So just, uh, it really works out for me really well. Okay, so that those are your options. I just thought that was a fairly decent setup. It's not overly complicated. I did screw some of these. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Some additional, uh, Places to hook your gear and strap it in. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing. I have my radio, which I mount over here. So this is a Ryobi uh, portable radio. It has Bluetooth. It has uh, you know, has a radio AM/FM. So basically, I use that little hook and I hook that on top. Of that 
that'll sit right on there. I usually put a little bungee and strap it in. Okay, and the nice thing about this little radio is you can listen to your music or whatever while you're yakking. And uh, it's got a little port for a charger. You can charge your phone, you can charge a GoPro. So that, that's a good little gig to put on your, uh, your rack also, your egg crate. So that, that's about the, the setup from there. Like I said, this is a Predator MX Old Town. And um, one thing about this rack here also, it'll fit other applications, the same idea. It's really good for these Old Towners because, because like I said, the space in the back is kind of a weird configuration. It just allows you to put a nice cargo flush and secure on the back. It leaves you that storage underneath. But if you wanted to pop that off, oh, one other thing, I did put a uh, piece of almond flex just for added padding. This is all sprayed with the uh, rubberized paint. I actually sprayed the uh, crate with that also, the rubberized paint. I'll uh, leave the uh, actual name of that in the uh, description. But on my old uh, Perception, this is my old setup. This, this would perfectly fit up right on the back of this also. Fits pretty good on that too. Almost identical uh, operation. Except, um, you know, you don't want to put too much in here to make it unstable because this, this is a little bit narrower. But the same idea, you could use this for two kayaks if you had them. Same idea, okay. So that, that, that's my setup. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm uh, getting ready to mount my Garmin. Uh, this is the Striker Plus. I have the Striker set up for my uh, other kayak over there. I have a video on that. I'll leave the video for this perception hook at the end if you want to uh, see how I decked that one out with the uh, sonar and all that. This particular one is going to be another sonar setup, custom, better than better than the ones that you can buy. And, uh, I'll be getting to that on my next video, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Nice little rig for your uh, old town kayak or other kayak. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you guys subscribe and enjoyed that video. I'm doing a lot of how-to videos, fishing, kayaking, kayak hacks and all that stuff. So if you guys wanna subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Bo's Garage, that's it, rock and roll, baby. Tight lines, guys.